Shalom, I'm all praises due to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity underneath the banner or the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, and I'm just going to get right into it. And this is Michael 3 talking about false prophets and what they do to our people, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to gain filthy lucre, okay? That's a couple of quick points, you know. You can read the whole chapter, but I'm just going to be picking here and there. And it says, uh, from 1 to 3, I'll read that. And it says, And I said here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and you princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? And he's asking them. They're supposed to be able to discern good from evil. But he says, uh, who hate the good and love the evil. And that's what these uh, filthy prophets are doing. You know, IUIC, GOCC, ISUPK, HOY, FOP, um, <clears throat> HOD, you know. All these people are supposed to be warning our people and bringing them back to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, underneath the, the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, the name, the heritage, the high holy days, <clears throat> you know, being a, a, a long for the people during these times before the time of Jacob trouble come, you know, and it says, uh, <clears throat> who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off the skins from off them and their flesh from off their bones. And that's what they do to the congregations that they have in front of them. They take their money. They don't give them anything in return. And, um, it's, it's hurting our people to the point of they're pushing them farther away from <coughs> Sabaki brothers, <coughs> the Heavenly Father, you know, and that's a problem. Um, because if you're a person that's supposed to be ruling over Israel, so to speak, in these times right here, it's supposed to be a leader of Israel. Let's put it like that. He's supposed to be able to, to discern good from evil. And these people are not that because we hear all the stuff that they say. A uh, couple of wayward doctrines that doesn't add up to anything. Like you can't use the name. You got to flee from Babylon. Uh, <clears throat> Cornelius is an a Edomite. Uh, the microchip is not in existence. Uh... It's just it's so many, you know, so many to name. And they don't believe in reincarnation. Some of these people don't, uh, so on and so forth. And it says, who also eat the flesh of my people and fillet their skins from off of them. And they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh within the cauldron. And see, so they, they group all these, uh, these people together which are the congregations, but the congregations of the dead. That's how we at GMS, we like to put them, the congregations of the dead, but it might be a few in there that might get released from that uh, stupor. But uh, when you put them all in the pot and stir them together and you're making a meal, and that's what these uh, false prophets or false uh, teachers of Yasharala do, okay? They're, they're getting ready to eat them. And i like to bring out um, Second Peters real quick. Two, I'm going to go straight to the point, three. And it says, uh, And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not, you see? So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep those people in the stupor, you know, and, um, and their damnation's right around the corner. They're not teaching them that, but they keep them in the, in the docile state so they can keep on, you know, handing their, their, their money over to them. You know, they making merchandise of their own people. 
I'm gonna go back to uh, Micah 3 because I, I got one last point to bring out. And it says, uh, Micah 3, and I'm gonna go to verse 4. Let's see. It says, and these are the people in the congregation, you know, this is what they're gonna do. Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. And why? Because of these false teachers, these false prophets. They're the ones that make them act ill in their doings. But they're also going to be punished because of that. You see, these people are not teaching the scriptures the proper way. And they're making people go off, you know. Thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry. Peace and he that put it not into their mouths, they even prepare war against them. So just like you see us teaching the, the, the word the right way, okay, these, these false groups, like we always say, they quick to band together for us, but they won't get on the next group that's teaching a wayward doctrine. So the wayward doctrine don't matter to them because that way it's good because it's making them money, all right? But let us, which are GMS, okay, underneath the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Let us teach the way of truth and they're quick to make war with us, you see? Therefore night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. So just like Nate took time off, 25 years, I think he said, because he wanted to reevaluate the scriptures on his own. Sabat, he disappeared for a couple, uh, couple of months. We didn't see him, you know. All these other cats, they disappear and then they come right back. Uh, the 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 elders, you know what I'm saying, that were there, one west, which are not a part of the truth at all. They dipped off for for many years and then they came back and they just don't have the 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 oil anymore, you know. So the sun went down on them, you know. And they're in darkness now, okay? So that's for all all these groups. They're gonna be cast into darkness, just like Nate. He has to go back and backtrack whenever we bring out the truth on the matter that he's speaking of, okay? He goes back and backtrack. Uh, a couple of other groups do it too. You know, it's just so many to name. We all know who they are and they range in between that IUIC, ISUPK, so on and so forth, HOY, whoever, whoever's not under the correct doctrine. That's who we speak of in GMS, okay? Then shall they, the seers be ashamed and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips for there is no answer of Yahweh. And that's what they do. When they get busted in live, we ask them, well, break down this scripture to us. Do we ever hear anything back from them? No. Because they know that they caught in between the rock and the hard place, which is Yahweh and the man that he has set up. You see? <clears throat> but truly, okay, it's verse 8, but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. And that was Micah speaking, but the man that the Lord have set up, which Micah could be among the men, okay, we out here and we're, we're professing what the, uh, what the Lord told us to do in these days, stay in the scriptures and tell the people their transgressions, tell them the warnings, you know, what's to come. And that's what we're doing. 
Hear this, I pray ye, ye heads of the house of Jacob, princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment and pervert all equi equity. And this is what we're doing, you know. When we go against these people that teach this wayward doctrine, that's what we're doing, okay? What it says in verse 9. <clears throat> they build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with inequity, okay? The heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire. That's that 501c3 charter, okay? Everybody's trying to get a deal. Everybody's trying to get that, that filthy lucre in their pocket. All right, <clears throat> and and make merchandise of the people that's coming to them, the Israelites that's coming to them. They're trying to make merchandise of them, and the prophets therefore divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, "It's not the Lord among us; none evil can come upon us." And that's that's all those groups. They think the Lord is with them, and they think that the home. That the Lord is going to, uh, he, he's going to disannul them from the harm. When it said up in the earlier verses that he's going to get all those prophets that make his people err. So having a, a mind like this means demons are on you heavy, okay? Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become a heap in the mountain of the house of the high places of forest. Of the forest, Salaki, and that already happened, uh, and it's happening spiritually now, okay? Because right now we're supposed to be building back up the house of David, you know, we're supposed to be building back up Yasharala, okay? And um, that's not happening. Instead of building it back up, we got these people that's prophesied to tear down and we know why because you know what I'm saying two thirds of them gotta be destroyed anyway so we just look at it as everybody has to play a part you wicked Pharisees uh, Sadducees okay which are you you false prophets and when I say wicked that's what I mean because it's, it's good Sadducees and it's good Pharisees okay so it's because they followed the law and they followed the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So let me just split that down the middle. The wicked, all right? The wicked men that are hirelings or uh, teachers for filthy lucre's sake. Your job is to weed out the niggas or the weak, the two third, okay? Jim Mesh's job is to get the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? And that's what we're doing. Everything is scripted. Everything is, is prophesied. You're gonna have, you know, the remnant, the light, which is GMS, is gonna bring the people from your side that are the elect. But you are gonna keep the darkness on your side by teaching them wayward doctors. And if they fall for that, then so be it, okay? But over here, GMS is the, is the elect fisherman. We searching for the elect, okay? And with that, I'ma say, Shalom.